Okay, what I have for you guys today is one of my favorite solar battery stations, the EcoFlow River 2. This is my third one. I had the 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 River 2, the River 2 Max, and this, this is the River 2 Pro, the big boy. And I was I've been waiting for this because now it's like really usable. So 17.2 pounds. The inverter, the charger is inside. So that's the whole package right there. It has 728 watt hours claimed of power and so it's a super cool package and its real claim to fame is the one hour charging it charges so fast with an internal adapter that's inside already so it's not even a big brick that you have to carry one hour it's pretty much done uh, for 70 128 watt hours that means it's got to charge faster than that so 850 watts is what i see it charging at as solar panels i do have solar panels uh from ecoflow very high quality so super cool Oh, the app that they have is one of the best. It, it supports Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Why do you need Wi-Fi? You know, just so you could be, you don't have to be super close to it. You know, you could, uh, you could be on the other side of the house or outside your RV and, and you could see what exactly what's going on. Very good display. Uh, everything's configurable. So really nice form factor and it's got a nice carry handle right here, a little flat top. Okay, so on my testing, the I did the, uh, AC, uh, the DC, AC test, so out of 718, how much do you really have? And what I got, 541. So I just put a huge load on it, I believe a, a space heater, and 541 is what it got. So not that great, you know, and kind of typical of the uh, the River 2 series. Uh, you know, they, they hover between 75% and 80% efficiency. So 541 is 75% efficient. On the DC, I did get more than that. I got 80% efficient, so a little better on the DC. Why don't we do some torture testing? See what this baby can handle. And you can hear it too. You can hear the fan go and whatnot. So we're gonna go with a heat gun. Low and high. The high is pretty demanding on this. 520 is at low. High. Eight hundred. Can I do I have a eight hundred? Alright, doing well at eight hundred, right? We have our water boiler, which pulls in like 1,400 watts, I believe. All right. Hit it. All right, so 818 watts is what it's doing. I know this bad boy wants 1,400, but it says you can only have 818. That's what I can handle. So really cool. Good technology. That's called X-Boost technology, where they give it a lower voltage just so uh, you, could, you could keep operating your, your water boiler, your special machine and whatnot. It, what it does is it operates at a slower pace, but it's boiling water right away. Not, it's not a big deal, right? So 817 is what it's doing. All right, let's give it a real torture. We'll do the heat gun as well at low. Uh-huh, still going. I can feel heat. But not as high. I can almost blow dry my hair right, right with this one. And the wattage we're getting 997. All right, all right, not bad. So it is stepping up to the plate. We'll go on high. Why not? Oh, shut down. So about a thousand watts is its limit said I'm not gonna do any more you fool you're just gonna overload me so there you go learn something new every day uh, what's really cool is EcoFlow so is is a really good company good support five-year warranty uh, have a lot of promotions have a lot of sales and uh, you know they keep designing uh, you know they're, they're on the leading edge of design ventilation here flat top here handle here so good one uh, again the weakness is the actual output that i measure is slower than what they claim so around you know uh, a little less a little less than 80 percent when you 75 percent when you just work it really hard uh, off because the fan keeps going uh, but it is it is a light unit the price is 649 uh, not bad and they do have frequent sales on this so you know 499 this would be 
should be a banger of a uh, of a purchase for for most people. Your back home backup and overlanding needs. All right, thanks a ton, everyone.